bounds to go. The 400 meters final for women. And there's a real buzz of anticipation in this crowd. It's a packed stadium. This is where Kratoc Villa, Vilova of the Czechoslovakia, goes for her second gold medal. What a lineup it is. Kochimbova of Czechoslovakia, Bryant of the United States, Kratoc Vilova in lane three, Pininginer in four, Busman of West Germany in five, Payne of Canada in six, Robsam of East Germany in seven, Baska Kova of the Soviet Union in lane eight. One lap of the track, the 32 year old Czech girl who's already won the 800 meters and really is the second fastest that's ever run the one lap for women. Only Marita Koch has run further. Keep your eye on her because in lane three, she's going for a unique double and she really is tough and tough in every sense. She's a very muscular young lady, but she's flying now, absolutely flying. Kochim Bover in lane one is going exceptionally well too. So is Pininginer in lane four. Just outside of there, she is Pininginer of the Soviet Union. Uh, but the Czechoslovakian girl comes off well and Kochim Bover, her own countrywoman, on the inside. And this time is going to be very quick indeed. And the uh, Czech girl, 32 years of age, powers her way to the front. What a run that is. And look at the clock inside 48 seconds for the first time. It's a new world record, 47.99 and that is extraordinary what a way to celebrate a second gold medal with a world record and to take your fellow countrywoman with you for Tatiana Kochimbova on the inside in lane one is going to get the silver medal with Maria Pininginer of the Soviet Union coming up to take the bronze and West Germany's Gabby Busman in fourth place but that was a huge margin of victory and a marvelous world record for the Czech girl World champion and a well-deserved lap of honor for a world record as well. What a 4 by 400 meter squad the Czechoslovakians are going to have with two girls like that in their team. There's the result confirming that world record. Kratoc Vila, 47.99 and there must be dozens and dozens of very good club athletes around the world, men that is, who can't run that fast for 400 meters. Marvelous emotional moment for the Czech girls in first and second. Now for the one lap race for the men in which Bert Cameron starts in lane four and is the favorite for Jamaica, although he's got very, very strong American opposition. In lane one, Mike Franks, the 19-year-old. Sousa of Brazil in two. Hartman Weber, who wears glasses, easily to uh, pick out in lane three. Then Cameron of Jamaica, the American champion, Sundanix goes in four. That's Bert Cameron that we're looking at. Thomas Schoen Lieber, an 18-year-old East German, goes in lane six. What a fine prospect he is. Erwin Scumrail, uh, 302 of West Germany in seven. Mike Paul of Trinidad that we just saw there in all red in lane eight. Mike Paul, number two ranked in the world last year. Bert Cameron, this quiet, softly spoken man, born in Spanish Town, Jamaica, who has been linked to the greats of Jamaica in the past, the George Rodens, the Herb McKenleys, and the Arthur Wints, because he's uh, really headed the world, and there he is in yellow, chasing after the American outside him, Sundanix, the 22-year-old at the University of Indiana. Sundanix has gone off exceptionally well, so has the American on the inside. That's the good look at Burke Cameron right in the middle of your picture. Mike Franks on the right of your picture in the All Red of America, closing on Sousa from Brazil. On the outside, Mike Paul of Trinidad and the white vest with the red band of West Germany looking good, Scumrail in lane seven. But Burke Cameron comes off the bend the better. He's floating beautifully moving with a quiet rhythm and real authority now. Cameron without much pressure from Scumrail and the Americans are going to get second and third right at the dip there. Mike Franks on the inside I think from Sundanix and Bert Cameron who knows them so well because he's at an American university at the University of Texas El Paso sees as he looks around that his time is 45.02 to his left Mike Franks of America gets the silver medal and just pushing himself to the line it's Sundanix of the United States ahead of the West German Erwin Scumrail that takes the other medal the bronze but Cameron who started the favorite 
always wanted to win this title. He's been the national collegiate champion, he was the Commonwealth champion, he is the Commonwealth record holder, and now he's the world champion, he's winning time, 45.05. Franks, 45.22. Nicks, 45.24. Then Scamrell, Faber, Schoenlieber, Paul, and Souza. Final three rounds of the women's discus, and there have already been some big surprises in this. This is the girl who leads 67-76, Martina Orpitz, the 22-year-old from Leipzig. Only second in the German championships. There's her three round throws on the board. It's a lovely base of support. How well controlled she is at the front of the circle. Like a ballet dancer, and that's near 70 meters. My goodness me. And that could clinch this champion. 68 meters and 74 centimeters. Takes the lead with 225 feet six. <clears throat> and we see her again. Martina Opitz. What a fine series she's put together there. 68-74, her best. Watch her run across the circle, hit the middle, wind herself up, unleash the throwing arm. And look how she sails that discus on the wind, and again she's peppered that 70-meter line. 70 meters, 230 feet almost. That's a long, long way to throw a one-kilogram discus, 2.2 pounds. What a big smile on her face. What a handsome girl she is and how well she's thrown. Looking up at the scoreboard. 68-94 improves her lead and that, I think, will be good enough. Difficult to see Murovsha close that gap. It's a big lead, 64-98. Mureshova of the Soviet Union in third. She's 27, winner of the Spartakiad. She has a mighty strong throwing arm. See the discus turn over slightly, but you can see it's a couple of meters short of that 70 meter line. It's not enough. There's the marker. The officials on the spot. 67-44, the last of the serious challenges, goes over to congratulate the world champion, Martina Opitz of the German Democratic Republic. Marashova was good enough for second there. Petkova of Bulgaria, who we saw in third. Christova of Bulgaria in fourth. And Gisela Bayer of East Germany, Udo Bayer's little sister, was in fifth place. The four by 100 meters relay semi-final. And this is a tremendous uh, lineup. We've got Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia. This is the women's semi-final. Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, the Soviet Union, Denmark, Italy, West Germany, Great Britain, and Finland. With the Soviet squad, have their Olympic champion at 100 meters on the first leg, Ludmila Kondratieva, and Vinogradava on the second leg. So they've got a powerful squad out. But the Great Britain squad, right on the outside, uh, in lane seven rather, have run well and have overtaken Finland. And now Bulgaria running well, on the inside and the Soviet Union well they're not having it all their own way they were expected to go exceptionally well and they're not going that well Bulgaria on the inside running well Great Britain on the outside running well and what a run for the line this is going to be Bulgaria and Great Britain with the Soviet Union back about four meters and Czechoslovakia coming up and Great Britain just oh they're going to win it from Bulgaria from the Soviet Union from Czechoslovakia and that was a surprise. There it is, Great Britain running 43.06, finding a place in the final and deserving that, ahead of Bulgaria, the Soviet Union and Czechoslovakia, and the well-versed team,